Hello, and welcome back to Occult Arts and Crafts. I'm your host, Prada Chris, and today we're going to talk about making your own magic walking stick. This is a walking stick that I made. My my friend Gary, he he got a he got a little seedling from the uh, redwood forest, and he brought it home to his house, and he grew it in his backyard until he turned it into a Christmas tree. And then after his family used it for a Christmas tree, then they then he uh, he kept the he kept the trunk of it and he took off the limbs and it was it was stored in his storage place and uh, when I came over to his house then he gave me the stick and I turned it into my magic walking stick so the stick itself has got a pretty cool history on the top here I've got this fire and ice quartz crystal and I got this from I got this from my local crystal shop I've got it attached to the top with some with some hemp string I have a, uh, a tektite from China. A tektite is when a when a meteor hits the earth and it, it burns the earth and itself at the same time and this goes up as a gas and as it cools in the atmosphere it comes back down as a glass and, and depending on where the tektite comes from, tektites from China will be like this black color and tektites from frog are this green color and then and then Libyan desert glass is sort of a clear yellow color. And so depending on the material that the uh, meteorite hits and so this is a this is a tektite here so it's a, this is literally a combination of the heaven and the earth and the above and the below for a handle I have some amadou mushroom and I'll do a close-up on this and show it to you but this this amadou mushroom is a fabric that's made from mushrooms uh, it's made in uh, Eastern Europe and it is an old tradition and they have they have hats made out of amadou and this uh, this amadou fabric comes from comes from the Ukraine area. There's very few people that still make the fabric. They they soak these these woody type mushrooms. Uh, they they soak them in in a lye solution and then they pound them flat. And it's sort of like a vegan leather. It's a really cool material. A lot of people use it for optics, for cleaning cameras and stuff. And I have some magic rocks. So here I have a close up so you can see it a little bit better. This. This type of quartz is called a fire and ice. And here at the top we have some hemp string holding everything together. And this is the tektite from China. This is the Amadou fabric. And that's a handle, it's very comfortable. Some friends of mine uh, gave me this and this is a, um, this is a fossil. It's millions of years old. It's really neat, it has a hole in it and I, tied it on the stick. That was the first thing to go on my magic stick. This comes from my favorite hiking spot. It's called Powell Butte. And um, then here I have a bag and inside the bag I have some magic rocks so I'll, I'll untie the bag and show you what I have in there. I did some carving on the stick and this is the symbol for fire. This is the symbol for water. This is the symbol for air, earth, sulfur, mercury, and salt. And also tied to my stick, I have a, I have a little Dorje symbol, Tibetan Buddhism, and that's supposed to symbolize a lightning bolt. This was a gift from Poseidon. This was found at the Oregon coast and was a gift from my friend Shauna Jeliza. This is a river rock from next to the Stonehenge Monument in Washington. Here I have a little ohm symbol that I've been carrying around for years. This is a megalodon tooth, and this comes from the fossil cartel. And this is this comes from a, a giant shark that would actually eat sharks. It's a huge shark. And then I have another feather here. Down here at the very bottom, I keep some extra leather and some extra hemp in case I find like a feather or something I want to tie on the stick. This little crystal here comes from Nevada. And here's another crystal that my friend Todd gave me. And here I have an arrowhead that I picked up at the, at the local um, antique shop. And the leather bag that I have tied around the rubber bottom, this was given to me by my friend Sean Geliza as well. So I'll, I'll get into my little magic bag here and we'll show you what kind of magic rocks we have tied on the stick. In the, in the leather bag, I keep some of my favorite rocks. This is a, 
This is an agate from the Oregon coast, from Agate Beach. And a customer at my, at my work gave this to me. It's pretty awesome. And this is called Moldavite, and it's another type of tektite, where I talked about the, the tektite from China, where the, a meteorite hits the earth and, and goes, it, it burns into a gas and cools and comes back down as a glass. And this, this type of, this type of uh, tektite comes from the Prague area. The alchemists believe that Prague was full of the prima materia or the prime material. And that's the reason that they, they thought that this, this emerald looking stone was uh, gr that, that green color. Um, this is a meteorite, so this this came from out of the sky, and this is a Abigail meteorite. I hope maybe that you got some ideas about making your own magic walking stick. I'd love to hear in the comment section about about your walking stick and uh, what kind of magic stuff you like to carry on there. And thank you again for taking the time to check out the video. I've got lots of other arts and crafts videos. I made some magic wands, and I've got some great videos about the tarot and all kinds of esoteric stuff. So, if you want to like, share, and subscribe, that'd be great. He's Profound and LBX. Cinnabar. I want to live with a Cinnabar girl. Rest of our lives.